Sané. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Oh, and it goes! Sensational strike! And now he deserves to celebrate! All eyes on one man, a hat-trick in his last game. Can he continue that red-hot form? Stay with us on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome from the south coast of England. This is the scene here in Brighton. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position. And alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brighton and Hove Albion versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, the player that needs to affect the game is the one at the top of the midfield diamond. If he can get on the ball and dictate the play, 
they should control this match. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, Thank two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. Sané. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. Enoch Mwepu. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. for the opener and now they have it One nil then. This looks threatening. He's trying to create something. Terrific piece of anticipation. Ivan Ilic. Vieira. I must say, this looks promising. Options in the middle. Can he put it away? Still a chance. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And good pressure high up the pitch. Will he finish? And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Romarinho. Undav is with Romarinho. Denis Undav. Could be! And diving to thwart him. And there's the delivery. Can they exploit the space out wide? Oh, surely! And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now.
So the game continues and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Connolly. Ross. And a very good challenge. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And providing width. It's there for him. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. And that brings to an end the first half here at the Amex Stadium. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. De Paul. Fabio Vieira. Losing possession. And time for the change now. Number 13, Pascal Gross, to be replaced by number 2, Tariq Lamptey. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Chelsea. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Now hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And I think the less said about that, the better. Well, he went for placement, but that missed by a fair distance in the end.
building to a crescendo all week and very shortly it will be for real we have all the action for you live and a warm welcome from north london we're at the emirates stadium i'm derek ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is stuart robson and we've got premier league action coming right up it's arsenal versus Everton thanks Derek as always this should be a good game great atmosphere inside the stadium we've got two teams full of quality some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football what more could you ask for And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. James Tarkovsky plays with Michael Keane in central defence. And the lead striker today is Antoine Griezmann. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. And fed forwards. Prepare to take on the shot. Well, he's just spooned it over the top. Man. Grazer. Opportunity. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Now sending it in. Well, he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. Saka. It's there for him. Keeper had work to do. Who's going to get on the end of it? It might still be problematic. Firing it towards goal. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. So Everton restart the game, well aware that the pressure has been applied. How will they respond? And players waiting in the centre. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Marcel Halstenberg. 
Sané. Here's Cedric. Bukayo Saka. Vieira. Has a go. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Will he find the net? And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Amadou Onana. Now with Delhi. Griezmann. McNeil. Not showing good patience. Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Well, as you can see, Arsenal... Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Oh, it's cheeky. Oh, football finesse and it's very best. You can't argue with that finish. So back with the action and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. White. Now Griezmann. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Fabio Vieira. And a good looking ball. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. So, half time, that will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. And so the ball is rolling again, and Everton left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Keen. Fraser. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Fraser. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Just a reminder we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Everton facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, Stuart, they must score! A goal! We're really being spoiled! This is attacking football at its finest!
What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Good evening, I must say it's hard enough to deal with the pressure of a big football occasion but add to that the snow factor and things really get ratcheted up. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the first leg of this UEFA Champions League round of 16 tie. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, what a first leg we have in store for us here. Yes, it might be cagey, but these are two excellent teams with great individuals. This will be a high-quality game, Derek. This is the lineup for the home team. Piotr Zielinski starts alongside Stanislav Lobotka in central midfield. And the striker today is Viktor Osimhen. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And now this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. Ozim Hen. And here's Zielinski, body on the line. Corner kick played in. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. The corner kicks keep on coming. Sané. He continues his run. And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Here's Aldossari. Lobotka, terrific block. Rodrigo de Paul. Excellent defending. Sané. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Oh, and it goes! Sensational strike! And now he deserves to celebrate!
And underway again, Arsenal other side in front. Kim Min Jae. And now Zielinski. Lobotka. Elmas. And a bad pass it was. Now what can they do from here? And cut again from the flank. Well, capable of so much better, to be honest. Well, I expected more as well, Derek. I thought from that sort of position, he had every chance of scoring, but it's a poor effort. Lobotka. Elmas has it. On a pass that lacks quality. Elmas. And he's broken free. Oh, the goal was staring him in the face, but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity, Stuart. Well, he should do better there. Everything was good until the finish. Sané. Austin Trusty. Now, who can he play it to? Could be! Vital intervention. Able to deal with the threat. And he read it well defensively. Elmas. Well, no way through. And foxing the defender. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And they begin the second half in the first leg of this Champions League round of 16 tie. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Well, it wasn't all that far off the target. Well, you're absolutely right. That was close, but the game is still very much in the balance here. Time for a change then. And strong play here. Amir Rahmani. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Arsenal facing Aston Villa. A glorious chance. Zielinski. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. Elmas. Lang. And on to Ozim Hen. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Ivan Ilic. Rodrigo de Paul. Sane. Flores. Oh, surely. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Bukayo Saka. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. And there's the feed into the box. Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Ilic. Sané. Saka. Delivered into the area here. Oh, what a fine save, and a timely one, Stuart. Well, that does give them some hope, because that would have been the end. And the substitution will occur now. Corner kick played in. Struggling to get it away. Speculative effort. And nearly extending their lead. Well, it wasn't quite the finish he was looking for. He just couldn't quite keep it on target. Just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Being egged on by the crowd. 
And will it be the leveller? Must be! High quality goalkeeping and still they lead. Well, that's a great save. That could be the match winning stop there. They have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Delivering it. Well, able to survive. There's the final whistle, and Arsenal with the advantage going into the second leg of this tie. Yeah, they just about edged it for me, but if the first 90 minutes is anything to go by, this tie is far from over. Really looking forward to round two now, Derek.